So I got some mahogany or sapeli, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, very similar. Uh, had one long board about six inches wide and about too thick. Uh, cut that in half, so this is about two feet, and that's necessary for the countertop on the toilet cabinet and the cabinet next next to it. So I'm putting it on the joint now, joint make two sides flat, and then cut it to size to the correct thickness. Let me see. Now we've got four boards. These two and these two. Um, they have one flat side that I started with on the jointer. Uh, so the next step would be to go into the planer and to make them all the same thickness with two flat sides, uh, but uh, the first thing that I'm the first thing I'm looking at is that which didn't show when I started because most of, most of it started like this, but you can see that there's sap wood here on the edge. There's some sap wood here. Some sap with there and some here and I'm already thinking I only need three boards this is a little bit more than 18 inches I'm gonna lose some of that anyway but um, I need about probably about 16 inches or so, no a little bit more, 16 and a half. So we got about one and a half inch to spare on three boards. Um, but now what I have to do is, uh, not immediately, but I need to sort my boards on color. So, for instance, what I could do in here is put these two together so that somewhere in the middle or top third there will be a white stroke in the countertop. That looks nice. Uh, but I have to figure that out, but I'll do that a little bit later. The first thing now is the planer. Even. 
Okay. Oh, um, I rustled it uh, both sides. Before going to high grid sandpaper, I'll take it to the van and see how that exactly works out. And then I'll finish the top that I choose with uh, first 120, then 220, uh, 5, and probably then about 1000 or 1200 grits or so to make it really smooth. Careful, there's just too much, <laughs> much sweat. Uh, that's a problem. I think it'll gonna look nice. Um, what I have to do now is you can see that first of all I have a big overhang here. First of all, because of that, I will lose this white streak here, which makes it a little bit better to see. Uh, and I only need about three quarters of an inch uh, of overhang, which is equal to the thickness of the doors. Um, then I first have to scribe it to the side wall here. The second step is to scribe the back wall here and make this fit here on the outside of the cabinet. And when that all works, I have to take care of the left side uh, and then when the sizing is done the only thing I what I have to do is cut off this extra piece and then turn it over underneath and that will function as the thickness of the countertop uh, by doubling it up at least here in the front just a, a small piece uh, it makes it seem twice as thick uh, while still have a, a little bit lighter setup. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.